Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show you what changed in the Next.js router for the last 8 or 9 months since I created that video over there. If you are asking yourself what are those changes, they are mainly two changes. The first one is related with the fact that the Next.js router is now case sensitive. So if you create a file in your pages folder and that file is all uppercase, that bit of the URL where that file represents will have to be all uppercase as well. Otherwise, Next will return a 404 page to you. Then, the second change is a very welcome change for beginners. You probably remember that I created the link and then I put href and an as property in that component. Well, you no longer need the has property at all. So, those two are the big changes in Next.js. Then, in the end of the video, I will show you something that I have been asked quite a lot. In that video, I showed you a components folder and a containers folder. And I said that usually I put everything into my containers folder in order to not open a new route for my unit tests. So I will show you an alternative approach if you want to put everything into your pages a folder and you want to ignore some type of files. So without any further ado, Let's jump into our examples. Over here in VS Code, the first thing I'm going to do will be to delete this pages folder. Now, after that, I will create a new folder called sources, and inside the folder called source, I will have a folder called pages. Now, inside pages, the first file I'm going to create will be the index.js. But you can notice that I created the index.js with a capitalized I, and this will have consequences, let's say it that way, right? Now, if I do that and I go now to localhost 3000, you will see that Next.js can't find my route. It will say a 404. So in order to resolve that, we will have to have an index with a lowercase i. If I do that and I refresh my page, you will see that now everything is working as expected. So this is the first instance where you can see that now, the Next.js router is case sensitive. I will show you two more examples. The first one, imagine that I have a file called portugal.js, which is my country. I will do pt over there. And now I will do slash Portugal all in lowercase. We get a 404. If I put the p in uppercase, like in my file, now everything works as expected. If I create another file called, for example, brazil.js, and I put just br, oops, br, not bt, over there, I can do brazil all in lowercase and everything works. If I change, for example, the b to uppercase, now it no longer works. I'm receiving a 404. This is the first thing I wanted to show you today, is that the casing of your files will impact your URLs directly. Now it's a one-to-one -one connection, right? Now, the second thing I want to show to you, I will need to create some dynamic routes. And that dynamic route, I will create a country and then a file inside this country called person, right? And you can notice those square brackets, which is the dynamic part of our routing. I will just import our use router. So import use router from next slash router. So we can see the parameters of our URL. So I will do query equals to use router. And now I will just do a JSON stringify, JSON.stringify of our query parameters. I can do Brazil slash, for example, Bruno. And now you can see that the country was Brazil and the person was Bruno. If I want to create a link tag or an anchor tag to navigate to this page, I can go to index, for example. And in the past, when I was doing that, you probably remember that I created an href and an as attribute. You will see that now I don't need to do any of that. I will just import the link over there. And now let's delete all of these and do the following link. And what we want inside the link is, for example, a navigate. And here, we no longer need to have an as and an href. The href alone will do the trick for us. So I can do Brazil slash Bruno, for example, okay? I can go to the root of my domain 
And now I will open the developer tools to show to you that the only thing that will change will be this div. We no longer do a full page refresh like we were doing up to next 9.5.3 when we are not using href and the has attribute, okay? So I can click now over there and you see that the only thing that changed was the div. There is no longer this full page refresh, which is very, very good. Now I can close all of these, go back to my root, and I will now show you something that I have received quite a lot of questions in the last few months. In that first video I did, I created a folder called containers if you want to have your source code and your unit tests side by side. And why I did that? Well, when we create any file in our pages, it will immediately become a route and usually you don't want that. If you don't want to replicate all your file structure in another folder called container, there is a different solution for this problem that I will show you today. And then you have two solutions, you decide the one that you like the most, okay? So let me kill the server for now because we will create an x.config.js and when we do that, at least up to today, we need to kill the server, right? So I will do module.export equals to page extensions, right? And what these page extensions will do for us is, by default, they have in Next.js, JS, TSX for TypeScript, uh, JSX as well, and they have two more that I will leave uh, somewhere here in the video, okay? Now, what we can do over here is to say, okay, all the files that I want you, Next.js, to pick up have to have the extension .page .js, for example. And this extension, you can have whatever you want over here, okay? I'm just using page.js because I think it's something that makes sense. If you are using TypeScript, you will have page.tsx, okay? So let's start with page.js. If I now start my server, you will see that nothing will work at all. I will do refresh and I will receive a 404. And the reason for that 404 is because I don't have any file over here where the extension is .page.js. If I change, for example, the index to .page.js, .page.js, now I can save the file, refresh over here, and now this file will start to work. So you can see that we have two different solutions to the same problem. One is to create the containers folder. Another one is to keep just one file structure and you change this Next.js config and the page extensions, okay? So you have two solutions to the same problem. You decide which one you like the most. And now if you do, for example, slash Brazil, Brazil will not work once again because we don't have .page.js. If I put .page.js, now we have another route, which will be slash Brazil. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the comments which solution you are going to adopt in your projects when you have unit testing and you want to ignore those files. If you prefer to use the containers version or if you prefer to use this uh, next config with the page extensions, all right? So if you like this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, and I hope you enjoy the next videos. Bye-bye.